in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let there be love shared among us. Let there be love in our eyes. For our good night message on this Tuesday, the 9th of April 2024. Broadcasting from the Salesian Pontifical University, Rome, Italy, by your servant Father Eustace Siame, a Salesian of Don Bosco, we listen to this encouraging and strengthening message in line with the first reading of today entitled, Being One Heart and Soul. Today we took our first reading from Acts chapter 4 verse 32 to 37. In this passage we are encouraged to be of one heart and soul just as the early believers were. This unity not only strengthens our faith but also serves as a beacon of hope for others. In a world filled with division and strife, it can be easy to lose sight of our common humanity. But when we come together with one heart and soul, we demonstrate the power of love to overcome any obstacle or challenge that may come our way. Let us embrace this spirit of unity and extend a hand of friendship and compassion to those around us. The example set by the early believers in Acts chapter 4 reminds us that there is strength in numbers. When we stand together as a community united in faith, we become a force to be reckoned with. Let us join hands and hearts with our brothers and sisters in Christ, knowing that together we can achieve great things for his kingdom. And that starts with our own families. If there is any time we can repair the broken relationships in our families in order to achieve big things is this Easter tide. Make use of this time to reconnect with your brothers, with your sisters, with your cousins, so that united you stand divided you fall. Easter is a time of renewal and rebirth, a time when we are reminded of the hope that comes from the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Let us take this opportunity to renew our commitment to being of one heart and soul with our fellow believers, spreading the message of love and redemption to all who cross our path. Just as the early church shared everything they had with one another, let us also be generous in spirit and deed, whether it be through acts of kindness, charity, or prayer, let us give freely and abundantly to those in need. By doing so, we not only fulfill God's commandment to love one another, but also inspire others to do the same. In times of uncertainty or doubt, let us draw strength from the knowledge that we are never alone. When we come together as one heart and soul in Christ, we are supported by a community that lifts us up in prayer and encourages us along our journey of faith. May this Easter season serve as a reminder that no matter what challenges lie ahead, we have each other to lean on for support. Let us go forth from this Easter season inspired by the example set by the early believers in Acts chapter 4 verse 32 to 37. Let us strive to be of one heart and soul with our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ, sharing his message of love, hope, and redemption with all whom we encounter. Together, united in faith and purpose, there is nothing that we cannot accomplish for his glory. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. Let there be love.
流水。